The Urban Farmer, powered by Organics Limited. In our final episode about bees, Jess shows me that honey is not the only thing that comes out of a beehive. You brought us a little uh, sample of what you make yeah, out of your beeswax. So on the global market, it's quite interesting because not a lot of beekeepers, certainly here in Kenya, know about this. Um, on the global market, wax is twice the value of honey. Okay. So people always think, certainly traditional beekeepers, I'll sell my honey and I've seen people throw away wax because they don't know what to do with it. Um, wax is used in cosmetics all over the world. Um, obviously candles, um, smell that, it's wonderful. Uh, you can make doesn't uh, smell like honey. <laughs> there you go. Mm, okay. You can make this uh, body cream, uh, wax oil, and a bit of scent if you want. Lip balm for those that that need it. Um, and and then this is the other amazing stuff called propolis, um, which is it bee poo? No, not okay. correct. All right, not at all. It looks like it. <laughs> Don't listen. <laughs> uh, Propolis is, um, so the bees are like medicine men, or medicine women, I should say. The bees know exactly which trees, uh, flowers, plants produce medicinal resin. Okay. Um, and they will take that, they will chew it off, they've got little m mandibles, and they'll chew it off and they'll bring it into the hive and they'll plug any hole, any entrance, and they will plug it with that, and it's it's an anti antibiotic. I eat this when I have a sore throat, I will chew on this, and it's magic. It's magic stuff. Really? Yeah. Take it. Tigger, are you? Seriously? Yeah. Can you see that? Does that look like you can eat it? This is cool. This I don't know about. Take it, take it, take a nibble, my friend. Really? Mm. Here goes nothing. Seriously. Did you seriously eat this? Mm. Well, you swallow it. No, don't then? eat it. No, just, just chew it like chewing gum. It's like it takes a while to get it soft and then it becomes like gum. Oh, but chew it. It tastes peppery. No, it's medicinal. And this, this is good for you if you're sick, mm -hmm. cold. Amazing. You can also make you know, tinctures out of it. It's better as a tincture. Oh, it's a tincture. It's been diluted with alcohol and then mixed with honey. And it's, it's fantastic. Oh, for your throat mm -hmm. and for... I mean, you know, yeah. being an Indian, we've brought up being told that uh, turmeric, we call exactly. it haldi, has medicinal you know, properties. I, so we use yeah. it. You get a cut, you put on turmeric. Um, you got a sore throat. Honey. You have honey and turmeric and you have that. Yeah. So this, you can add that in there maybe mm -hmm. and... Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Maybe Superman. But there you go. I mean, hopefully Jess has explained to you that bees, next time you see one, don't step on it. They do a hell of a lot of work. Um, the food that you eat, pollinated by the bees or butterflies. So if you see, apparently I've read, that if you see a bee that's lying down and it's a little bit tired, you exactly. feed it. Is, is, is it true you feed it... Um, that's a bee. I, did, I, I didn't hit it. I was just see. <laughs> Go <look>. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you feed a bee water and sugar, yes. does it wake up? It can. It's a boost. They have a, they have a, yeah, they, they, that's what they, that's their fuel. Like a car, if you run out of fuel, you can't go any, far, any further. So I, um, I spend many hours collecting bees out of a pond and they're exhausted because they've been swimming. Just a little bit of honey, a little bit of sugar with, with water. And they fly and they fly off again. It's amazing. So the next time you see a bee that's struggling a little bit, a little bit of honey, a little bit of sugar, and uh, you're saving the world. You're doing your bit for environment. Yeah. Here we go. Thanks, Jess. Save the bees. Save the bees. <laughs> Save the bees. <laughs> Cheers. I've had an absolutely awesome time at Jess's house, and I've learned so much about permaculture and bees. Next time, I'm back in my own chamber to try and implement what I've just learned.